Hi, hello children, good to see you. Hello children. Hi, I hope you are doing good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our service. We are so glad to see you. We are so glad to have you. Okay, and I just have a small challenge. Let's do this together as we get prepared for our praise and worship. So, I'm going to say one, okay? You clap your hands, okay? And when I say two, just give me those flowers. And when I say three, nod your head. Okay, let's do it together. One, clap your hands. Two, give me flowers. Three, nod your head. Are we ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three. I hope you liked it. We will continue with the game. Now, before we go into our praise and worship, let's ask. Pray, hands together, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for our lesson. We thank you for our value that is healthy living. We pray that even as we learn more about um, our value today, we pray that we'll be able to understand. We pray that you give us knowledge. And above all, Lord, may we be faithful in the word and do what it says. We love you, God. We love you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, Amen. Let's go for praise and worship. Hello, children. You're welcome to praise with us. As we declare that we are the salt of the earth, wherever we are. It's a new song, so we want you to learn it with us. Come on, let's dance together.
to get up this time. Yeah, stand up. Let's dance together as we learn to keep our environment clean and know that it's good for everyone. So since you know the words, now let's sing it together and we dance a little. Are you ready? Come on, just shake your shoulders like that. Keeping the environment clean. boys and girls from that wonderful praise session the bible says let everything that has breath praise the no wonderful god bless you and so even as we continue with our value study today we know you are learning something and we are going to study more and more about healthy living so we want right before we go on into our value lesson here with me i have jethro jethro han and Jolene, and we are so excited that you have joined us today and would like to would like you to join us even as we define our value. So what is our what is healthy living? One, two, three to go. Healthy living is taking care of my body, my heart, and everything around. One more time. Healthy living is taking care of my body my heart and everything that surrounds me wonderful so children boys and girls you've had that value lesson it says we have to take care of our bodies our hearts and everything that surrounds us now jolene how do we take care of our bodies by brushing our teeth brushing our teeth boys and girls and brushing them thoroughly clean jethro how do you think how else do you think we keep our bodies clean by bathing two times a day wow Boys and girls, have you had bathing two times a day? Now, some of you say when it's evening, oh, it's cold, I don't want to bathe. No, 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 no. Healthy living says we should bathe two times a day. And then there's keeping our hearts also, taking care of them and make sure they are clean. So, Jolene, do you have an idea? How, how do we keep our hearts clean? By avoiding peer pressure. <gasps> avoiding peer pressure. Have you had boys and girls? What is peer pressure? Peer pressure is the influence of bad friends. Right, have you heard? Peer pressure is the influence of bad friends. So when we keep away from bad friends, we are taking care of our hearts. Alright, which now brings us into our lesson point for today. Now our lesson point for today is interesting and we would like you to say it together with us. One, two, three to go. Keeping, Keeping the, the environment, environment clean is good, good for everyone. everyone. Wonderful. What is the environment? What is the environment? The environment are the things that surround us. Like? Trees. Trees. Buildings. Buildings. Houses. Houses. Mountains. Mountains. Land. Land. Stones. Sto <laughs> so all the things that surround us are in the environment. So how do we take care of them? For instance, how do we take care of houses? By mopping them. Mopping them. How do we take care of trees? 
by not huh? cutting them down. Not cutting them down. Anything else in the way we can take care of our environment? By avoiding burning the bushes. Don't burn bushes, boys and girls. Don't join a group that is destroying the environment that surrounds us. Because our lesson point says keeping the environment clean is good for everyone. It's good for little boys, it's good for little girls, it's good for mummies and daddies, it's good for the whole country. Alright, so God bless you. Remember to keep our environment clean. So we are going to say our lesson point one more time before we go. What does it say? One, two, three to go. Keeping, Keeping the, the environment, environment clean is good for everyone. God bless you. Hello boys and girls, why don't you join me as we sing a lesson point song? Keeping the environment clean is good for everyone. Keeping hey, the air. Oh yes, teacher Jabu. How are you doing? I'm very good. You're already here with the boys and girls. Yes, you're actually singing the lesson point song. Really? Yes. Tell me, uh, did you find some clean places as you were coming to church? Mm, I actually noticed mm. that the supermarket is always clean. Oh yeah, the supermarket is always clean. And also, and also the petrol station. The petrol it station. never has any rubbish. Oh yeah. Yes. I I've never seen rubbish at the petrol station. How did? You, what about? What did you notice? The roads, very clean. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I actually saw a lady cleaning the road. Oh, a lady? Yeah. How was she dressed like? I actually didn't recognize very well, mm. but she had a label of KCCA. Could you be knowing what that means? I guess that is Kampala City, what? Oh. Kampala Capital City Authority. Kampala City. Kampala Capital City Kampala Authority. Kampala Capital City Authority. Yes. Oh, yeah, the ones beautiful. that clean our city, yeah, that make really. sure we stay in a clean city. Mm, like this city, right? Yeah, it is oh. really clean. Oh, wow, so beautiful. I would love to live in such you a city. Would. Yeah. What about the boys and girls? Would you love to love to live in such a city? Oh, that boy likes even that girl. They would like you live. also love to live oh, in such yes. a city? Yes. No one would. What about that city? Oh. Not me. That's yours. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fall sick. You don't. I, I Did don't. you know that if you live in such dirty places, mm -hmm. you can get diseases like cholera, ah, dysentery, oh. typhoid, and even you may die. You don't want that. No one would love to live Maybe in such a city. Maybe the boys and city. girls want to get sick. So if you don't want to live in such a city, what are you supposed to do to your job? Oh, to keep my environment clean. Yes, by cleaning, sweeping, uh -huh. and making sure the whole environment yeah. is clean. clean. So boys and girls, mm -hmm. keeping our environment clean is mm -hmm. good for mm -hmm. everyone. Mm -hmm. One more time, let us repeat. Keeping, keeping the, the environment, environment clean is good, good for everyone. everyone. Now children, um, we're going in for a misplaced value. And I hope you remember what a misplaced value is. Of course, it is a lie that we tend to believe that people get to say and then we just go with it. And yet it is misplacing our value, misplacing the fact that keeping the environment clean is good. So someone will come in and say a statement like this. You know what? It is not important to keep the environment clean. They've misplaced the value. That means we can't we don't have to live in a clean environment which is actually wrong okay so now as we focus on uh, looking at making sure that our environment is clean i just need you to do a simple activity with me could you close your eyes yes now as you close your eyes i'm going to say something okay i'm going to say some i'm going to make some statements try to make you to imagine something and then make sure you visualize whatever it is make sure you can see even when your eyes are closed okay now imagine you're staying in a home okay and this home has very many house flies on the sink like where the plates are usually kept do you see the sink and the very many house flies what has brought those house flies are the dirty plates that were for last night and they have fish and beans smelling uh-huh and then the house flies are moving around the house and then as you're still walking you see rats climbing in the chairs and then going 
moving around and then they go into the saucepans and then they eat the beans that were left over that were spoiled do you see all that are you imagining that and then as you're going outside the house you find rubbish the cat is trying to eat some of the small small bones of the fish that were left and that were thrown in the dustbin are you still with me we're imagining together aha uh -huh. the, the the cat is trying to eat those small small bones and now as it is trying to get the the bones it pours the rubbish and then starts to scratch all over and then push the rubbish everywhere that is at the doorway and then as you you you're still looking ew, at all that you go into the bedroom the bedroom has clothes everywhere socks shoes have been thrown everywhere and then after that you go into the toilet hmm. the toilet has poo that is smelling I, I, I know you want to open your eyes wait 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 and then there is poo that is smelling and then there is no water for flushing uh-huh do you see that with your eyes closed and then the bedroom is all smelling because of the toilet and then it's so awful okay now you can open your eyes now children how many of you would want to stay in such a home for me i wouldn't well that is the most imp um, that is why we need to importantly keep our places clean our homes clean okay even when you are at school i know it's been so long but even when you go back to school how many of you would want to sit in a um a classroom that is very dirty rubbish everywhere or you go on maybe you've asked the teacher you want to ease yourself and then you go to the toilet and someone did something wrong okay and it's all dirty maybe they urinated everywhere the hole is so dirty you wouldn't want to go to a place like that so that is why it's important for you to keep your place clean for you to keep your environment clean why i'm mainly focusing on your home is because it always starts at home okay you always have to start from home and then you can keep the rest of the places clean if you went to a market and you're buying food with mommy or daddy and then the person that is selling uh maybe tomatoes has like sewage water around or you've seen them washing the tomatoes with the sewage water would you buy those tomatoes or would you buy those tomatoes that are next to the sewage place no so the same very way um we wouldn't do such things is the same very way we need to start practicing it from home because it always starts from home okay imagine a home without a dustbin what where would we pour all our rubbish that's why we have dustbins okay imagine a home without a toilet hmm. now where would you people be putting all those things that come from your body that are very dirty where would you put them where would you susu? some of you don't want me to talk about those things but that is the actual truth imagine we didn't have water now that we have water you don't want to take care of the environment you don't want to clean up and when uh, the water disappears you see how important it is because it is needed in every area via food to keep our bodies healthy even cleaning okay so children it is really important for us to keep our places clean so that we avoid diseases the best way to actually avoid the disease called corona is constantly washing your hands isn't that true with soap so if we didn't have water then we would all have corona and we would all you know be infected and die so we need to make an effort to keep our place clean to keep our environment clean every day all the time okay keep that place clean remove the rubbish where and take it where it's supposed to be because keeping the environment clean is good for everyone you inclusive i inclusive everyone it is good for everyone hello boys and girls uh, we are going to listen to a bible story with teacher martina from the book of genesis chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15. enjoy the story hi you're welcome to a bible story um this time a bible story is about creation since we've been looking at keeping the environment clean remember uh we said that 
the environment are things that were around us. So let's go back and see how creation was and see how beautiful the Lord made the earth, okay, before he actually even put man into it. Okay, let's dive in for a story. Now, when the Lord God made the earth, there was no plant, um, no earth, uh, no plant, no shrub that appeared because the Lord had not sent rain on the earth. But streams came up and watered the entire surface and then the Lord God formed man from the dust. Okay, now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east where he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground so that they would provide food. And this is how the Lord made all kinds of trees. all kinds of trees and plants that look as beautiful as these ones to grow out of the ground. Some were flowers, others were just so flowery and I'm sure Adam loved the garden after he saw it. Okay, so after he made all kinds of trees and plants and flowers and all these things grow from the ground, he saw that it was pleasing to his sight. And in the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Okay, and after the Lord created all these trees, he put all kinds of animals. put all kinds of animals and and the birds too that were flying in the sky okay he also made rivers and there were four main rivers. One was called Pishon, the other was called Gihon, the other one also was called Tigris, and the other one was called Euphrates. And after the Lord made, after the Lord God made the trees, sorry, the trees and the birds and the animals, the Lord God put Adam to take care this and he said unto him take care of the garden of Eden as beautiful as it looks Adam was responsible for this garden and he had to make sure that he takes care of it and that is the end of our story Hello, boys and girls. Woo! welcome back from that amazing Bible Story. Welcome. And guess what? Mm -hmm. The story was about the creation. Yeah. And God created very many beautiful plants. Very things. many, so beautiful. Plants. What else did you create? Oh, the animals, I, yeah, cows, beautiful cows, zebras. Yes, it did create yeah. all of that. Uh -huh. And on the last day, mm -hmm. it created Adam. Oh, yes. And he gave him a responsibility uh -huh. of taking care of the garden of, of Eden. Eden. Yes. He made sure the plants are watered. Mm -hmm. He made sure that the cows would run mm -hmm. great. He made sure the garden was clean. Very clean, yes. Oh, but what if Adam and Eve, what if they didn't even take care of the garden? The garden would be sticky and above all, God would not be happy oh, with them. Oh, if they refuse to do it, that is disobedience. Indeed. Uh-oh. And God would not be happy. Not happy. 
and the same way, mm -hmm. guess what? Yo. God gave us the same mandate mm. to make sure that we clean our oh, environment. Like God gave us the job of cleaning where we stay? Yes. Oh. Each and every single one. Not, yeah. not the young one, not the old one, but everyone. Whether everyone. you're three years mm -hmm. or ten years or even our mummies and daddies. Oh. Yes. Yes. We are all supposed to clean our, our environment. environment. Oh, yes. And it is a responsibility for each and every single one of, of us, us, right? And Teacher Jab, uh -huh. this week we have a challenge for all the boys and girls. I like challenges. And guess what the challenge will be? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is about cleaning our environment. Cleaning our environment, yes. Yes. So, we're going to give you a challenge uh -huh. that you ask your mommy or your daddy to record you while you are cleaning or sweeping your compound. Yes. And then you'll send it to our teachers uh -huh. and we shall be able to show it to each and every single one yes. of us that we are responsible. responsible. And at the end of the day, uh -huh. keeping our environment clean is, is good, good for, for everyone. everyone. One more time. Keeping our environment clean is good for everyone. Oh, oh, praying. Okay, children, hands together. Eyes closed and talk to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for teaching us these good habits. Thank you for teaching us to clean our environment. Even starting now, we are going to clean where we stay. We are going to clean our beds, our sitting rooms the compound, the windows, Lord, everything, making sure it's clean because we are your good children and we like doing the things you want us to do. Yes, Lord, we say thank you and in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.